Guys, so today I want to talk to you about not only the new supercharger, the benefits of it, what it's going to do for you, things of that, but we want to talk about the power supply that is uh, portable. Right now they have all of these batteries charging on this. So what? let me ask you this, would somebody be able, because a lot of these guys that are running a lot of battery are using solar power, sure. would they be able to take that solar power and, and charge this up to continue uh, to use it to charge all of these batteries so, as the well, day goes on? Or yeah, is... It's a standard AC input, so as long as you have something that converts that to AC power, you're able to recharge the power supply and also have that pass through to the charger. Okay, so uh, so this fully charged, you said we would get, uh, we could charge how many 8.0s or how many 12.0s? Yeah, so when the roll-on unit is fully charged, you're going to be able to recharge up to 10 M18 12.0s, up to 15 M18 8.0s, but we typically see users having like a 50-50 split of 12 to 8 O's. In that scenario, you're gonna get about 12 to 13 packs recharged. Okay, so guys, if you are if you are running this battery powered equipment all day on your trailer or whatever the case may be, you will be able to completely drain your batteries pretty much and stick them on the charger, charge them a little at a time to get where you need to be. You should be able to make it through the whole day like this. But one of the cool features that they did with this too is- When that guy. <clears throat> so you can post all your pack out stuff on here as well if you wanted to do that. So uh, it also adds AC functionality too. If you have any needs on the corded side of things. For oh yeah, over here. Day, um, yeah, so and you've, you've got, got two duplex uh, circuits there. And uh, these are 20 amp. So uh, and this is one key, so you could hook up to your one key app and see as well. But this also tells you the percentage of battery, you how many hours you've got left. This is going to tell you the kilowatts of power you are using from this unit as well. And then, uh, like I said, you've got your your USB and stuff like that if you wanted to charge something whatnot you've got your one key that you can hook up to your app i'm sure it'll tell you all this information on the one key as well uh supercharger the new supercharger guys this is meant for pretty much the new batteries the new forged batteries now uh, you're going to get the 6.0 is going to come out uh, supposedly uh or sorry september october is when this new 6.0 forged battery is going to come out this is going to do the same thing pretty much as your rapid charger now uh, or your supercharger now except you know you've got two M18s on it but it's going to charge the same way as the old supercharger on your M18 batteries but the new batteries is where it comes in to play at uh, and so they said what you're going to get 80 up to 80 percent full char or a charged yes. on a on a 6.0 yeah, in 15 good. minutes. Yep. Uh, so how long is that going to take to fully charge? Uh, about 20 minutes. <laughs> so in 20 minutes, you've got a fully charged Correct. Uh, battery. And um, is that, a lot of people want to know, and I see a lot of people say that it does hurt the cells by using these. Is that, does that affect the runtime of these batteries over time? Does it affect how many charges you're going to get out of a battery over time by using a supercharger compared to a rapid charger or a regular charger? Sure. Great question. Um, you're not going to see any type of degradation there. All of our battery packs have electronic protection controls and have different charge and discharge algorithms. So if you do have a pack that just came off a super aggressive duty cycle, it's very hot, it may you know, back down in that charge rate temporarily until it cools down a little bit, then it's uh, go to that max charge rate. So the electronics in the battery and charger communicate with each other to really optimize that charge rate based on the scenario. Okay. So you're not going to see any degradation to the cell's overall performance of that battery pack by leveraging a supercharger. So these, these will be released uh, along with these new 6.0 forged batteries uh, sometime within the next couple months. So be watching for that. I'm not sure whether it's going to be September or October. I think they told me it was going to be nine. Uh, so I think next month is when this is expected, but do not quote me on that. So if you have any questions about this stuff, feel free to comment down below. Let us know what your thoughts are on it. Uh, is it something you'd be interested in? And is it something that if, you know, if not, why? Uh, maybe because these guys do listen to the end user a lot and they are willing to change things, especially if it makes absolute sense. So don't be scared to give your opinion. Thanks for
for watching, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Danny, I'll see you in the next one. Let's go. I'm a strap in the great. Knock with the base. I got the echo locked in your face. If you want to battle, this is not that place. You can meet me at the table and come get a taste. We talk to YouTube Live, where I thrive. See me on the tour, watch a grass fly by. Some think that I'm cocky. DeWalt to Milwaukee, it really don't matter because y'all can get off me. If you like the video, sub, then hit a play. We got 10K.